Consider the following two phase locking protocol. Suppose a transaction T accesses for read or write operations a certain set of objects O1 up to OK. This is done in the following manner. Step 1 T acquires exclusive locks to O1, O2, etc. up to OK in increasing order of their addresses. Step 2 the required operations are performed. Step 3 all locks are released. The protocol will A guarantee serializability and deadlock freedom. B Guarantee neither serializability nor deadlock freedom. C. Guarantee serializability but not deadlock freedom. D. Guarantee deadlock freedom but not serializability. So, this is a question regarding two phase locking protocols coming from DBMS topic. So, if you learn two phase locking protocol, you will see that this is conservative two phase locking protocol. And conservative two phase locking protocol is conflict serializable, which means that this locking protocol is serializable that is correct so serializability is guaranteed now coming to deadlock freedom so here it is said that we are accessing exclusive locks to o1 o2 etc up to ok in increasing order of their addresses so if some transaction has to access let us say five objects it will start acquiring locks to the objects only in the increasing order of their addresses which means that there can never be circular wait condition see why when the circular wait condition happen let us say t1 needs one and five t2 needs the same one and five let us say t1 got five initially and t2 got one initially now t1 will need one which is t2 and t2 will need five which is with t1 that is circular wait one is waiting on the other both in a circular manner but if t1 and t2 are acquiring locks in the increasing order of their addresses both will try to acquire lock to one only first which means that either t1 or t2 only will get the lock to object one let us say t1 got the lock to object one now t2 will never get the lock to object one and t1 can easily get the lock to object five we T2 will never get the lock to object 5 because it already hasn't got the lock to object 1 and it can only access in the increasing order. So if all transactions are only asking locks in the increasing order of the addresses of the objects then circular weight condition will never be satisfied. So deadlock freedom is also guaranteed. Which means that looking at the option guarantee serializability and deadlock freedom. Option A is the right answer here.